All right, so we're at the stump dump where you get all the dirt and leaf compost. We have all the leaves that people already give. Everything for the taking. So this is our trailer, a modified trailer that we loaded all of our bins off to. Um, big one. Um, so we have all these and then we just find the piles that have the shredded already in it. You can see the smoke. But these ones are already pretty composty. So these are the piles we go after uh, to grab all of our shredded leaves uh, to put into our own compost. So that is what we're doing today is grabbing shredded leaves. All right, so this is all the leaves that we took yesterday from the active pile uh, that we got from the stump dump. So this is an eight by eight, about four foot tall. So this is jammed in with all the leaves. You can hopefully see there is smoke coming off this. So this is a pretty active pile. And this is almost the start of winter. So we are still actively uh, winter composting. We can probably see if the therm thermometer works. So, sorry, lens is steaming. So you do it in such a way that you have so much excess composting materials that the outer layers are going to be composting everything. So the inner layer is insulated enough so it can maintain that heat to support the biology that will continue to break down throughout the winter. So purposely this large for that insulation factor. We're also going to put a tarp on top of it to reduce the amount of snow and water that gets into that that can also kill a pile like that. So we'll probably continue all the way through winter with this. This will probably decompose to about a quarter of the size that we see now. Um, I'm not going to uh, move any of the pile. I'm just going to put the tarp over it uh, and just let biology do its thing. You can see that the pile is about 100 degrees uh, in there now. The core is probably easy going to be 130, 150. If you were to dig down your hands into that, um, it would be hot to touch, too hot to touch. Um, so that's how active this is just the day after. Um, so we just piled everything in yesterday, um, and it uh, biology just kind of takes off from, from there. So we'll see how this goes. We'll tarp it up, let the winter... Uh, go on and, and see how the the winter composting is going to go on All right, so let's check up on the, the compost pile It'll show how Biology can over overwhelm the weather about 20 degrees out. It's got about a foot of snow 34 30 40 mile per hour winds It's quite chilly so There's our pile. It's covered in the snow Let's take off the bar. Definitely heavier than I thought. The thermometer has been in there. right now showing just under 
at 130 degrees. So even with well below freezing weather, we put a snow on top of it. This compost pile is still cruising along. Before this happened, it was about 140, so it did decrease a little. And that was expected, of course, but it seems to be still going away. We had just did this pile over the weekend where the leaves were above the grade, almost to the top of this. So you can see this thing is already compacted and already decomposed, about a quarter of it so far. So it's quite impressive that, that this can do this in this sort of weather. But it's all about having that big pile, having the inner pile really heated up, going while the outer insulates it and kind of supports those activities. So good to see that. Seems like we'll be able to compost all throughout winter after going through this.